Hi boys and girls. Hi my YouTube, my friends. So today, this front door, the trouble is uh, it had the nice brass hinges with the bearings in it, the, the special hinges, but over the last couple of years the soft brass has worn out and the front door is starting to settle down and it's causing all kinds of trouble with the lock and the strike plate and the doors rubbing on the bottom so we're gonna we're gonna swap the hinges uh, we're gonna put in like same hinges same size and stuff I'm gonna show you how to measure those and get the replacement hinges um, only we're putting in steel hinges the cheap uh, four dollar steel hinges because the expensive thirty two dollar each times three uh, brass hinges with the bearings have worn out one thing that's gonna make this job a breeze is like shims like this which uh, is like a two by four that I cut on the table saw but you could use anything like books or magazines or something like that and the idea is we want to get these under the door and pick it back up close to the original design height of the door because like I said it's actually settled down like a quarter of an inch and uh, and then simply like one at a time remove the old hinges and put the new hinges in we're not taking the door off or anything we're doing the hinges one at a time in place so uh, let's get you going and show you it's gonna be a quick video it's an easy thing to do and I hope it helps you out so you can see is order because you can see here's the top hinge and there's actually uh, the, the bearings are actually gone here's the middle hinge you can see the autofocus you can see the bearings are quite worn but they're actually still there and the bottom hinge has one of these uh, door stops on it so what you want to do when you're looking for replacement hinges is you take your tape measure and you measure the hinge so this is a four inch hinge there's like three inch hinges three and a half inch hinges four inch five inch so you want to measure your hinge and you also want to look inside the jam and this is what they call a radius corner on this hinge so I want to buy four inch radius corner hinges if it had a sharp angle corner that's just called a corner hinge so that's the two kind of hinges that are available. I have purchased and have them right here, the replacement hinges, three steel, cheap steel with a fake brass finish, four inch radius hinges. And what we're going to do is stick these chocks under the door to bring the door up to the original height so that I'm able to sneak in there. And, uh, and with a simple, okay, and that's going to hold the door for me while I work. It's going to hold it in place and also going to bring it up a little in height so uh, nothing's trouble here. So let's do it one at a time. We'll show you how it works. There we go. Popped right in. Now, um, In, in the replacement hinges, it's a different screw pattern. Only one of the original screw holes is available for me. So I'm either going to pre-drill or you're either going to pre-drill that'll hold it in place while I'm working. So you're either going to pre-drill and then put your screws in or you're going to set a punch with like all You could set a punch with an awl and a mallet. That'll help you get your screws going. And, uh, or you could pre-drill if you have like a self-guiding uh, but if you notice these um, these screws that came with the replacement hinge these screws that came with the replacement hinge you see that little notch there these are wood screws but they're self drilling wood screws so in other words it's going to clear out uh, the wood for itself 
and going easier and straighter than a screw that didn't have that self uh, and of course since we're using the power driver it just makes life a lot easy So you want to keep a lot of pressure on that power driver as you're going in because you don't want that bit to strip out the screw head. All right, So keep a lot of pressure on it and just follow that screw in. Start easing up as the screw's getting short and you're ready to come to a stop and you're good. This is the first hinge, okay? All the screws are nice and flat and they're in straight. And uh, we're just going to do that two more times, and then uh, then I'll come back with you and we'll check the functioning uh, open and closing of the door. Now, here's a couple of pro tips for you. Here's the new hinge, okay? And this is a magnet, by the way. The new hinge, the magnet sticks. Old hinge don't stick. Even the pin. This is a brass hinge. Brass is worth money at the scrapyard. I would say... Four pounds of brass right there. It's probably worth about eight bucks at the scrapyard. So this is going in the meltdown bucket. And this is a beeswax. Now, some of you who, and especially you ladies who don't quite have the upper body strength to get like a one-inch screw into solid wood, even with a power driver, this is a beeswax, and you can rub the screws on beeswax or a crayon or even like a candle wax. You could rub the screws on there and then put them in the wood. They go in a lot easier. So there's a little pro tip for you. Uh, use uh, some kind of wax or even soap, a bar of soap. You could rub it on a bar of soap. You don't want to use oil or WD or anything like that, but, um, but some kind of a slippery, uh, solid, non-petroleum-based substance to help you get the screws in close that the screw kept wanting to go in the all holes and they were coming out crooked you could tap like a dowel in the all screw hole like an eighth inch dowel or a couple of toothpicks um, and then break them off flat just so that the screw tracks into the new hole and it doesn't keep wanting to go in the old hole and getting crooked this uh, I had to whack with the hammer a couple of times just to get the edge to seat but the other hinges were were not a problem I think just the doors a little bit twisted but it's just like two wax it wasn't a big deal but that's always an option for you guys so we have our three hinges in this is the first shot closing it checking the uh, action on the strike Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. They used to have to, I mean, before just now, they, like, had to literally pick this door up and then, like, slam it shut with their shoulders. And uh, it's a nice uh, door, uh, you know, with the side lights and everything, and it's a nice bald one lock, and it had the great uh, brass hinges with the bearings, but it just simply wore out. So, uh, so it's pretty good. Let's see if the deadbolt, oh, the deadbolt works. Everything's good. So, uh this job is done. Chalk up another one. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, give me the thumbs up. Leave the comments. You know, if I helped you out, at least say that. And uh, I can't thank the YouTube community enough, YouTube users, for this opportunity. I've been given as a YouTube partner. Thanks, guys.